Hey, I'm Sino. Hey, I'm Treasure. Hi, I'm Taba. And today we'd like to present our supercapacitor power torch. To begin with, we've broken our system down into various subsystems and then we're going to dive into expanding each of them. The first system is the charging system. The charging circuit has two components, which is the actual charging of the capacitor from the power supply. And this circuit is controlled by the charge indicating circuit, which only sends a signal to stop the charging of the capacitor when the capacitor is 95% charged. Now that our capacitor is charged, we take it to the torch. The second system is the boost converter. The boost converter is powered by the supercapacitor and then it drives a load which is the MOSFET driver and the LED. So the boost converter has two delicate components which is the inductor and the capacitor. So in designing your inductor, the main factor that we should look at is our ripple current and the switching frequency of which it's a PWM characteristic. And then second one is the capacitor. Capacitor caters for the ripple voltage and takes in the duty cycle as a parameter of which is part of the PWM. The MOSFET in the boost converter is driven by the PWM MOSFET driver, which takes us to the next system. The PWM MOSFET driver is essentially the part of the circuit responsible for the switching characteristics of the boost converter. So first, a bootstrap power supply is used to step up the voltage from the supercapacitor so that it's able to power the next stage of the subsystem. The bootstrap power supply essentially consists of an A-stable multivibrator in cascade with the Dixon charge pump which acts as a voltage multiplier. The clocking signal is then generated by the IC555 timer A-stable multi-vibrator circuit which produces a 51 kHz square wave signal with a peak voltage of 4.6 volt at a fixed duty cycle of 75%. The final prototype has an extendable cord for the LED bulb for mobility and flexibility. Its user interface is extremely simple with one push button for turning the torch on and off and the second button is for dimming the torch for 50% brightness and 100% brightness. Now that we have the final product, what's happening? Light it up!